Sup, I'm Alex, if you didn't know. Um, I have been obsessed with Doja Cat's like new vibe since, I don't know, when she started, like a year ago or so. Uh, just switching up, switching up the vibe, switching up the makeup, really doing artistic things. I was really inspired by her new video uh, for the song Attention. I know of two makeup artists that she's worked with, uh, one being Laurel Charleston, who is, I mean, just like an, like an artist, just an absolute, I mean, like talk about a person who sees the world a specific way, obsessed with their work, like absolutely obsessed. And also Ernesto Casillas, I believe, if I'm pronouncing that correctly, uh, who did her makeup for the video. And just between those two artists, I've been loving like everything she's been wearing. So what I wanna do is kind of create an amalgam of looks, kind of like push them all together uh, to embody just like her recent vibe. That's what we're gonna do. So I'm actually gonna start off with the eyes. I have a few different photos that I'm gonna be working with. Um, and you know me, this stuff just kind of like happens as we go, so. <laughs> uh, but I do know that I wanna start off with the eyes. I'm gonna use the Hindash Color Fluid in the shade Canvas as my primer. We're going glam today. Glam in like the edgiest way possible. I've been kind of like messy. I've been in a messy mood with my makeup recently. Like I don't really care if things are blended perfectly. This is going to be a little bit more intentional. So we're creating an edgy look, but I, I want the application to be flawless. Next, I'm just gonna set that with a little bit of a translucent powder. I'm using the Prism Lieb um, from Givenchy. So I'm just gonna use that same brush, which was the Sigma E45 Max blending brush, which is a large blending brush. I'm gonna pick up Quarry Days from the Stone Cold Fox palette by ColourPop. So I'm gonna focus this in the crease, going back and forth, kind of in like this sort of a shape. But I want this to be the overall like color of my eye look. I'm gonna grab my Refer 02 brush, that same color, and I'm just gonna run this on my lower lash line, kind of in that eye bag situation. Connect it up. I'm not super smoking this out, but I am running it pretty much like along all of it. And then just kind of like meeting up here. Doesn't matter if it's, um messy right now because we're doing our eyes first. So obviously there will be cleanup, cleanup involved. All right, I'm gonna go into my waterline. I'm gonna use the House Labs um, Identify Eye Coal in Punk. I don't know if this is still available. After their rebrand, I like don't know what, Oh God, so good. I don't know like what they still have. So I'm gonna take this all over my waterline to there. Okay, and that's it. I'm not gonna go any further. I want to bring it onto the lower lash line a little bit. Using my Ruffer 26 brush, blend this. Again, not taking it too far. I just want to blend this product out onto the lower lash line. And then whatever is left over on the brush, I'm just going to wing it up. I asked you guys what, um, like in my community tab, what you wanted to see more of. A lot of you said you wanted longer videos, like more chatty videos. You wanted full face tutorials, celebrity recreations. <laughs> um, so I'm listening. All right, now I'm going to build up that coal on the outer corner of the upper lash. I'm gonna use that same brush. And just blend, do some little uh, little softening, keeping this um, tight to the lash line. Or I mean, it's not tight, but like as I go in further, I'm keeping it tighter to the lash line is what I meant. So I just kind of want to soften that coal a little bit without making it like way too gigantic. Like that, dope as fuck already. Like, are you kidding me? Stop. Literally stop. This is a good ass coal, dude. I feel like uh, I feel like I haven't used it. Have I used this before? Do you know? 
All right, I'm gonna go back in with Cory Days first on the bottom lash line. Just like really quick. Using that same 26 brush on the top. Just wanna do like a little bit of um, softening. Wanna make sure that those like, those uh, shades are overlapping. So there's no gaps, basically. This isn't like necessary, it's just like a little attention to detail situation. And then I'm gonna grab the black shade from the palette, which is rock bottom. And I'm gonna go over that coal a little bit again, just to kind of like soften and set. These steps, these layering steps, I feel like people get so annoyed when there's like, okay, I'm going in with this cream and now I'm gonna set it with this powder. But like, this is what creates that staying power. This is what like makes not only the look look three-dimensional, give it that like extra grounding, but also makes it last. You can see I'm using a light hand. I'm just kind of like lightly buffing that black shadow over the coal. Dopeness, dopeness, love. Now I need a slightly darker brown. I'm gonna pick up Fickle Fate, which is a darker brown, but it's still pretty warm. I'm using that same brush because I don't like to switch up my brushes. And I'm just going to go between those shades. So I'm just gonna kind of like blend between, what was it called? Quarry Days and the black. Picking up Quarry Days again on my Ruffer 13 brush and building that up in the crease and then just blending whatever is left over onto the lid so that I'm kind of just like melding all of those colors. All right, I'm gonna go in with my Hindash Liquid Eyeliner and I'm going to trace my eye just to create like a nice sharp wing now. And then I'm just going to follow the shape that we created with the smoke. She only does this when I film. And then extend that wing and then draw back, obviously. Duh, I mean, come on, how else do you do a wing? Hello. Oh, this one got too thick. <sighs> Let's just make it really long now. See if I stop, please. Okay, there's lots more detail that I wanna to do to the eyes, but I wanna wait until I have the rest of my face on. So we're gonna go into the face. So I'm just grabbing my MAC makeup wipes, my cell or something, I don't know, whatever, and just, just wanna make sure I'm picking up any of the um, like fallout, especially from the black shadow. I didn't get that much, but you know, I don't want that mixing with my face products. And then I'm just gonna give my eyes a really quick mist of the um, D-Slick all-nighter setting spray. You can use the regular all-nighter. I just find that one to be like a little bit too dewy for me. I just kind of want um, those shadows to really stay put before I start moving on to the rest of my face. Okay, my face is actually like relatively well hydrated. I'm just gonna, um, what am I gonna do? I'm just gonna go in with a teeny, teeny, teeny little a bit, little a bit of the Tatcha Dewy Skin Cream. You probably haven't seen this in a minute. Literally just like the tiniest amount underneath my eyes. And you know what, just like around my nostrils. I had a cold last week and I was blowing my nose like every 15 seconds. So um, if I have like a bunch of dry skin patches here, that's why, but I'm looking pretty hydrated. So I don't think it'll be a problem. All right, I'm gonna use my um, NARS Radiant Creamy Color Corrector. This is in the shade Light, just to do like a tiny bit of color correcting underneath my eyes. I haven't used this in a minute and I was just like, what the hell, let's bring it back. Why not? Just focusing this like right in the hollow of the eye. And then blending out into this little outer area. I 
I have no allegiance to any foundations recently. Like I don't have a favorite. I've just been like, I'll use this today. I think my recent favorite has just been the Very Valentino Foundation. This is um, LN2. I'm just using a damp sponge. This is the one from, this is like the uh, football one from Fenty. I don't think it's available anymore uh, from when Rihanna did the halftime show, but uh, I just, I use a sponge until it completely falls apart. So um, a beauty blender perhaps. I've been trying to use less concealer overall. So as far as foundation application goes, I am focusing the majority of the product in the center of my face and like really building it up in the areas where I need that coverage and then slowly blending it outward to the outer perimeter of my face. I've pretty much just been using concealer to like conceal my dark circles and just kind of brighten my under eyes recently. And then I'll do spot concealing as needed but I'm not really brightening up any other areas of my face recently. Just kind of in the vibe. So for concealer, I've been using this one from Luna that I got when I was in Japan. It's so good, dude. I love it so much. Uh, it's just like crazy. I've been getting so many comments about my under eyes when I use it. So um, I don't know what shade this is. I think it's the lightest shade. Um, you can get it on YesStyle. I'll link everything, obviously. I'm just gonna use my little um, Refer 14 brush. I wanna blend around this shadow and concealer before I like go in and set with powders. Okay, we're starting to get somewhere. Not looking as crazy as we were before. Doing your eyes first, I think it can feel really daunting to people because it's like, I have no concept of how this looks. You know, like my face is not done and my eyes look insane. <laughs> Especially if you're doing like something like this, which is like real smoky, like real statement. You just have to have faith, have faith in the process. Uh, what do I want to contour with? What the fuck am I doing? Ugh. I mean, our faces are completely different. So like, I'm just going to do what I do, you know? I'm going to use Anastasia Fawn because I haven't in a minute. Contour beard, a little contour beard. I've been eating a lot of sugar. So, most of the contour beard is necessary right now. Okay, I have an announcement to make before I start blending all of this out. Uh, just like a real quick, I've mentioned my secret brush before. Um, I don't even know how to do this. So I have a brush that I've been working on with um, refer brushes. Did I bring over the little prototype? I don't think I did. What do I say? What do I say? Look, it's got my name on it. Is that so cool? Can you see? That's me. That's me, Alexandra Anelle. Isn't that cool? Like, what the fuck? This is my brush. <laughs> anyway, um, this is the sample, sample brush. I'm holding two of them, I don't know why. So, Refer, if you know anything about Refer at all, this is a collaboration with Refer. Did I say that? Okay, now I don't even know what I'm doing. Um, if you know anything about Refer, their whole like business model is based on customer feedback. So they reached out to me to create a custom brush for me. I designed it. Uh, I don't wanna to talk too much about like the design, why I designed it the way I did and all of those things because this is a test run kind of. So what Refer does is whenever they have a new product, they put it up on their, I believe it's called the concept store where people can get it for free, test it and then give them feedback. Uh, and that way they can make adjustments depending on that feedback. This is very funny to talk about with uh, my contour, but like we should all be used to it at this point with me. So that's what we're doing with this. So 500 of these are going to be available on their website. You won't have to like search for it or anything. Uh, it'll be available for people who make a purchase of $50 or more. And the point of this will be for you to test it. It'll just be added with the purchase. Like if you spend $50 or more, it'll just be added automatically for free. Um, and you can test it out and then please give feedback. What, like any kind of feedback, anything. Be as honest, as nitpicky as possible. Uh, I really want this to be something that works for everyone. So just to be clear, this is not the finished product. 
Uh, this is my design. I want to make sure that I'm getting every kind of uh, feedback from different kinds of people so that this ends up working. I, I don't want to talk about the design and like what it's meant for because I just want it to be something that works for people. So however you use it, I would love to hear about that. Um, there will be 500 of them. I'm assuming it's gonna go relatively quickly. And again, it'll be included in your a purchase of $50 or more. Please do not go to Refer right now and just like buy a bunch of stuff that you don't need <laughs> just so that you can try this. This is not the finished product. The actual brush will be available potentially later this year. However, if you have been eyeing brushes, if you've been meaning to pick some stuff up, uh, and you're interested in, in trying this, then like this would be a good opportunity. Uh, again, there will only be 500 available, so just keep that in mind. Um, but yeah, they're available right now. So <laughs> if you were planning on picking up some brushes uh, and you're interested in testing this out and giving feedback, then head over to Refer. Yeah, I don't know what else to say about it because this isn't the official, it's not the official announcement for like the, the finished product. But um, but yeah, I just wanted to let you guys know that these 500 are available, these little testers, and I want your feedback so that I can make it perfect when we launch the finished product. Now I feel super awkward. Uh, well, now you know what it is, so I'm gonna be using this. It's called the, um, the P38 brush. So I'm gonna be using this to blend this out and hopefully it's not completely set. Very difficult, very difficult for me to talk about myself and things that I'm doing. I feel uncomfortable. So I'm gonna blend out my uh, contour the way I typically do. This is not new unless you're new to my channel and then you're like, I don't know what you're talking about, but like, look, you can see what I'm doing. So um, it all works out. I will say I use this for creams and powders. It's a natural hair brush. So natural hair brushes usually are like best for powder, but I think it works great for both. So yeah, but again, I'd like to hear your feedback on that as well. So I made my contour a little bit more like that because Doja Cat has like a longer face than I do. So I'm kind of mimicking her face shape with my contour. Not that it's really gonna make that big a difference because we don't look anything alike, but like whatever, you know what I mean? I'm gonna use my little uh, Angie brush from BK Beauty. This is the A504 brush to contour my lips and nose. All right, for my blush, I'm gonna mix two colors with my foundation. I don't know if you guys saw my little like trick. Uh, I'll put it up here somewhere. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna mix Rare Beauty Worth and Virtue. I'm gonna put a little bit of each of those on the back of my hand. On the back of my, hello? Excuse? I'm on a black void. What else would you be focusing on? You know what I mean? With just a little pump of my foundation to lighten it a little bit so it's not as like intense on my skin tone. And then using my sponge, I'm just gonna pick that up, focus it up high on the cheekbone. I'm gonna bring that into my under eye a little bit. Again, I'm working from like a few different photos and I'm just, I'm basically blending everything that I like. I think that's nice. I think it complements, complements well. I'm gonna build it up a little bit more. I'm just um, using the sponge, the sponge, duh. I'm using the uh, side <laughs> that I applied my foundation with just to kind of like blend around the edges. Love, love it, love it. Don't love it. All right, I'm gonna set underneath my eyes using my e.l.f. Halo Glow Powder, like I always do, making sure it's all blended out. And I'm using my MAC 240S brush. And then using my Sigma Skin Perfector brush, I'm gonna go in with that Givenchy powder again, just in my T-zone. I want a beam and highlight, so I'm gonna use Rare Beauty. I've got two of these. Uh, I have the more golden one and then the really pale one. I'm gonna mix and lighten and exhilarate. And lighten is the lightest one. Yeah, 
yeah, I want an intense highlight. <laughs> I'm going to hit the tip of my nose above my lip, my brow bone. Damn, I forgot how intense these were. <laughs> That's what I wanted, but I was like, you don't need as much. You just don't need as much. So I'm just tapping back and forth between them. And then I'm gonna um, place this in the inner, like against my nose, basically. Depends on your anatomy, but this area gets dark. So I'm just kind of highlighting in there. Plus there's stuff I wanna do with my inner corner. So just like that. All right, I'm going back in with quarry days and I'm just blending into the skin now that we have our base on. To finish off the eyes, I'm going to go into the inner corner and extend a bit. Again with um, my hand dash liner. And on the lower lash line, I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to kind of mirror that and then blend into the coal. And then I'm gonna use the Urban Decay Heavy Metal Liner in Glam Rock uh, to fill in that gap. As usual, to finish off the eyes, I'm just going to go in with my Refer Lash Curler. I'm gonna go in with the Give Beauty Mascara, and then I think I'm gonna pop on those um, Bright Lashes from Angela Bright in the style Flutter. I'm really liking these lashes. They're super easy to apply. They just like fit real nice and they give you that glam, but they're a half lash. So it's like not too much, you know? This is the dirtiest mirror. Like I really need to clean this. <laughs> I can't see what I'm doing at all. Okay, for the brows, I'm just gonna brush through them with soap to set them. I'm using my Paris soap. She's worn a lot of looks where she has like um, no brows at all. And I think that that really balances this like heavy smoky eye. Um, I'm obviously not gonna get rid of my brows, but I am gonna keep them relatively light. Okay, so now that that's set, I'm gonna go in with the NYX Brow Tint Pen in gray black. I'm just gonna use a really light hand and draw in some individual hairs in the really sparse areas but I do want to keep them like relatively light. Just like that. So most of the filling is happening at the tail and the bottom of the brow. Okay, I'm excited about the lips. So I'm gonna use a black lip liner. Do I have a black lip liner? Shit. So I'm gonna start by lining my lips with Deep Taupe by Anastasia. And then I'm gonna go in my Jesus, my Jesus. Then I'm gonna go in with Blindfold from Melt, which is a black lip liner. And I'm gonna contour the sides. I'm gonna use my uh, Refer 21 brush to blend. I just realized I accidentally picked up um, an eye cool from MAC to do that with because I thought it was a lip liner before. <laughs> just gonna use a little bit of my foundation to clean up around those edges. You gotta be careful because black can get real messy. And then in the center of my lips, I'm gonna use um, Isamea. This is from the, um, what was this called? I, I just, the cowboy collection. I don't know, it was the one with the horse. <laughs> I can't remember what it was called. Uh, this is in Lucky Kiss, Diamond uh, Lip Glow. Wait, Diamond Lip Glow Buck in the shade Lucky Kiss. I'm just gonna build up that black a little bit more. I feel like we kind of lost it.
And then, because I wanna do the absolute most, I'm gonna go in with Trixie Cosmetics Angel Cat Lip Gloss, which I am officially obsessed with. And I'm just gonna put this on my finger and pop this right in the center for that like extra pop of glitter. All right guys, that's it for this Doji Cat inspired makeup. Uh, I guess I probably combined or fused a bunch of different looks that uh, were done by her makeup artist Ernesto. But yeah, just shout out to Laurel Charleston, who's just like an absolute genius. I hope you enjoyed, I enjoy, I enjoy like thoroughly. I'm obsessed with this, I love it so much. Uh, I've been wanting to do a lip like this for a really long time. Love, obsessed, I do kind of feel like not to toot my own horn, but we really captured the essence of her current vibe. Full face, uh, sort of a recreation, I guess like an amalgam of a bunch of different looks. Just edgy as all hell, dude, and like dope. Dopeness, just dopeness. That's all it is, is just dopeness. I'm wearing a top. <laughs> and also don't forget my little brush announcement. So, oh, I don't know what to say about it. I'm just like nervous for some reason. But yeah, I don't know. All the products that I use will be linked down below in case you missed anything. Uh, I hope you enjoyed this recreation slash interpretation. And let me know if there are any other celebrity like recreations or interpretations, I guess, that you want to see next. As always, if you liked it, give it a thumbs up, leave a comment, subscribe. I know it's annoying. A lot of you are probably people who don't really like to interact with the internet that much, but doing all of those things really helps me out, so. Love you. Uh, all right, guys, that's it. I'll see you in the next one.